Okay. Tight. I'm putting my leg up too. This is nice. Cool. What's up, everyone? I'm out here in Boston with my dude Clayton Holyoke, aka Goose of Every Time I Die. Hi, guys. So we're chilling behind the Rockland Trust Pavilion. They just played. They ripped it up. And I brought him a Foundation Double X pedal. So I got to know, what did you think about that pedal? It ripped. It was very smooth. I was uh, surprised how easy it was to switch from the pedals. It just felt really natural. Uh, it also has a it has has a soft beater, and then it has a what is it like a, a plastic, plastic side, yeah. and uh, it really slapped. Yes, you can really hear it. Okay, it slaps. So the Foundation X double pedal slaps. Link below, actually. <laughs> Grab it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's ripped the pedal right out of the box. We didn't even like tune it up, put it on, and it was fine. So yeah, sent. All right, and you're adapted. also playing. He adapted immediately. Immediately after how many shows? How many time? Like years have you had that other pedal? Uh, I've had that pedal for about two years actually, okay. but uh, it was used when I got it, so it was already kind of torn apart. All right, so yeah. new pedal, crushing it. All right, yeah. and you're using the Tour Series with an Element Snare. Tell me, why is it that you like that combo for every time I die? Uh, the the Tour Series kit holds together very well. Um, it's been tipped over, crashed into, people have jumped into it. It stays in tune. Uh, I, I, honestly, I, w I was kind of scared because you guys had sent it out to me for uh, the first tour I did with them, and it kind of got uh, nicked up a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> but then I was like, "Yo, I want to buy this kit anyway." So uh, bought it, and uh, I love it. I love the sizes. I used to play a, a 24, 14. The, the custom kit I got from yeah. you was a 24, 14, 16, 18. Oh yeah. And uh, I actually, I, I love. The, the smaller sizes because they they're just easier to rip on like if, if you're going fast and, and doing fast fills and and, and and kicks and stuff it's uh, it responds a lot easier and it's it's really loud I don't yeah. know what I don't it's just like standard right it's just yeah. like yeah what is six it? ply maple toms eight ply maple kick which was the recipe for all our custom kits for years and we transferred it to the tour series which is a very popular kit yeah yeah, and everybody, everybody that I, I sound check with is really stoked about it. They they always ask about it. So, oh yeah, I know that it sounds good out there. It sounds good where I am, and I'm really just satisfied with just getting kits from you guys. Just how they come. Thank you. All right, he likes them how they are out of the box. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Um. So just taking it back a bit to even before me, SJC, all this. What even got you into drumming, man? Uh, well, my brother, my older brother was a musician and he played guitar, so I thought I would pick up the drums and it just sort of came naturally. Like I started playing guitar before just because my brother did. I yeah. started fiddling around with his stuff and uh, I wanted to start a band, so I, I got drums and uh, ended up coming natural to me and just kept going with it. Yeah. That's really, that's a, and then I, uh, I would take uh, my boombox down to my basement and just blast it as loud as it went. Would play like Deftones and Sick. and Corn and Marilyn Manson, all that new metal stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that was my favorite stuff. And then I uh, later got into like Refuse and At the Drive In and Okay. Uh, actually, every time I die when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Sick man. And was there like a a drum part or a song that really was like whoa, like I love this. This is like it's specifically like a drumming part. You were like, this is so sick, I want to do this. Um, particular part? Yeah, or song, or even a drummer. I don't I don't really know names of songs, but uh, the first Deftones record, Adrenaline, okay. I just, I, there was parts in that that were really like ex expressive, I thought, as a drummer to do that, like yeah. he, he placed in spot, like we place a snare and a cymbal in a spot where Absolutely. isn't normally done in that type of music and uh that's kind of sort of like where i i picked up on my style cool dig it man oh yeah all right now i'm moving away from drumming a bit i've got some goose questions right uh -huh. so stuff that i think maybe some people would want to know or that follow you be like oh interesting your dog father yes i know the story can you tell people why did you name your dog father uh at the time, I had a friend that just kept saying father yeah. a lot at the bar. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, but then I got I got a dog, and I was trying to I was trying to 
think of a name for him and I was like, what if I was talking in public about my dog and people didn't know it and I was just saying, father <laughs> did this, father pooped down the stairs, father ate a whole loaf of bread, yeah. I picked up father's poop in the backyard, <laughs> uh, things of that nature. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you thought it would be funny, which it is. Hell yeah. There you know. Now you know. All right. Um, aliens. I remember t sitting with you outside of, like, Rock on the Range or whatever that big festival was. Yeah. It was like a thunderstorm was coming, and we were with Gojira, just chilling. And you were like, yeah, I'm really into aliens. <laughs> Can you please explain a little more? Uh, one of the first tours I ever did, we stopped in Lake Havasu to take a dip. This was, like, when I was probably... 17 or 18 okay. and uh, this is when I got into aliens it's because I saw a UFO Hell yeah. along with seven other people uh, we were a little drunk maybe on some other stuff too uh, <laughs> okay. at least five of us and then the other two were straight edge yeah okay and, so uh, the odds there are good and uh, we, we saw this uh, beam of light over the hill and it was flashing in a triangle shape and then freaked us out. We got out of the water and ran to the van and we were like, hey, did you guys see that or, or are we tripping out? And they were like, that was aliens. We have to go right now. We have to leave. Unreal. And then directly above our van, it happened again in the wow. triangle shape, these lights. And we're like, okay, yeah, we have to leave. We have to get out of here. Unreal. And uh, that's when I got into aliens, I guess. Wow. I've heard I some similar it. stories yeah. of the same thing happening. Yeah. to other people so unreal so uh, i don't know i don't know if it was actually aliens or just maybe government uh aircraft right, or what right, yeah but like that's what got me there into something it. there and it sparked your interest yeah. in aliens that's cool hell yeah man all right mario kart i know you're a huge fan <laughs> um your preferred character your preferred kart and any pro tips for those out there? Because I know we talked about how important it is to drift. Not many people yes, know so that you have slide. to you yes. have to power slide in Mario Kart, or you're not going to win. So any so favorite character, kart type or bike type, um, and tips. Um, okay, favorite character on the new Mario Kart: Dry Bones with the Zelda uh, motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> um, and the Zelda wheels too. Very important to match them up. Okay. Um, and with that cart in particular, you don't really have to drift as much. Okay. It just it keeps its speed. And actually, if you drift, it like drifts a lot more than the other carts. Oh, it goes like out, yeah. Um, yes, that. Okay. Uh, another favorite cart would be the baby carriage. I don't yeah. know what they call that. With uh, toadstool, is that what yeah. his name is? Yeah. Toadstool. Uh, that was a favorite for a while. Okay. Um, me and my girlfriend really bonded over Mario Kart the first time we ever really hung out. Yeah. And uh, she actually beat me, okay. which I am the damn champion. <laughs> and okay. so that really, that was like, that turned Rattled me on. You. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. I was you like, like, wow, oh. you can you can really play. So, yeah. uh, let's see, what, what else? Um, <laughs> if you haven't, if you don't have the new uh, Mario Kart on a... Uh, the switch you need to get it yeah it's the best one there is for sure and actually mario kart for uh the wii yeah. came out on my birthday april 27th yeah. of like 2008 okay and oh, that's uh that's a good year i actually didn't like that one as much as the gamecube one it felt yeah, like a little GameCube slow one gamecube one Double and dash? yeah yeah the gamecube one and the switch are my favorite Got so it. check those out guys the key has been returned, the van key. Cool, man. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a picture that I took from your Instagram. Uh -huh. So I, I stole this from the uh, Hot Ones interviews. And I want you to explain what's going on in it because it's really interesting to me. So here's the picture. Um, oh, oh, can you see it? Oh, we'll pop it on the screen. Right, I forgot. Gabe's really good at editing videos. So what's going on here, bro? Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here in this picture. It's what it looks like. I'm actually, I, th I think I'm wearing a hat with an alien on it too. Um, this is a part of a haunted house uh, by my house in Salt Lake. Okay. That uh, all year, all year around, they keep the whole gimmick on the front. Like the whole, it's a haunted house, oh, wow. 
but then yeah. they uh, <laughs> they service vehicles in there too. Yeah. So it's like super weird. That's a haunted house uh, garage. All right. Okay. I'm glad I asked that, bro. <laughs> what the heck? I got this one. Oh yes. Okay. Was, uh, this was Gay Pride Festival last year on a, a float cool. for a company that I work for yeah. uh, called Huge Brands that I do all the social media for. Um, we had a float on there with a DJ and everything, and I was actually drinking beer out of this. Uh, shark head. Shark head, yeah. That's tight. Yeah. All right. When that happens in Salt Lake, you can just drink beer. It's normally not okay to drink yeah. beer on the streets, but for some reason it's just legal that day. Unreal. I don't know what the deal is, but they're just like, okay, yeah, it's just let the gays drink on the street. All right. It's cool. This is me on a He Is Legend tour. Uh, we were in Roswell, and uh, actually this was after, this is when I came back to Maryland after the tour uh, where my girlfriend's from, but I found this uh, mask in Roswell. I bought a whole bunch of different alien gimmicks. I bought a, a blow-up, an alien blow-up thing that's about this tall. Yeah. Um, I bought some socks, oh, bought yeah. a shirt, all sorts of memorabilia that's what's up man yeah love it all right i got two final questions the last one right here so was doug rugrats and had, like hey arnold the thing when you were growing up uh i didn't i didn't really get into that yeah uh oh yeah i forgot I, <laughs> learning with the mic i didn't really get into yeah. rugrats or or doug i was uh what was your favorite cartoon growing up i was into yeah. ren and stimpy a lot oh, okay all right fair. yeah <laughs> Dude, i was into ren and stimpy for nam 2020 then oh yeah yeah something might be happening with that or maybe oh. a beavis and butthead thing i'm excited i might pick up one of those all right my final question is why sjc my bro why do you play sjc why sjc yeah. you you everybody has probably heard this a million times but sjc will take care of you no matter what no matter where you are if you if something breaks on your kit they'll send it to you immediately they have always taken care of me and their stuff sounds amazing uh, and they just I, it feels it feels more like a family than other companies I've been with. Um, I know a lot of people from SJC come out to the shows and support us. So I mean, there's no other reason to not go with SJC. I dig it. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll Thank you. Time. And there's gonna be drum cam videos, plenty of them. So stay tuned. Later. Peace. Yeah.